In this video, we'll learn how to create a silhouette with an image inside of it like this using Inkscape. The first thing we need to do is import our images. We can use this icon here to do this. And just select both or all images that you want to import and click open. And then we'll just click OK to embed these in our Inkscape document. And then we just need to resize to make them about the same size. We'll click this lock icon so that when we scale, the proportions stay the same. And we can rescale uh, our images. We'll select the one that we want to be the silhouette and go to Path, Trace, Bitmap. And this will trace the outline based on the, well, the brightness is, is the mode we're using right now. So we click Update with our image selected and it will update a silhouette based off of the brightness level. If we don't get the full silhouette we want, we can change the brightness here. So a higher number will be uh, more con or less contrast. So the higher number is what we want in this case to create a full silhouette of this elephant. You'll need to have an image that has a solid background or a transparent background to make this work well. If there's trees in the background, they will be, for example, they'd be part of the silhouette as well. We'll delete our original image, and now we have the image that we want to be inside of this silhouette. The silhouette is now a path, so it's not the, the image anymore. We'll raise it to the upper level so that it's on top of this picture. And then we can resize it to get the framing exactly how we want, where, where we want it to be, uh, where we want the image to shine through the silhouette. We'll left click and hold and select both uh, the path and the image, and go to Object, Clip, Set. And this will kind of merge them together. This can be undone, but for now, it kind of creates the image inside of this silhouette. We can use the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle over it. Depending on your settings, you may have, like in this case, some opacity and some color issues. So change your color, go into fill and stroke if you need to, and increase your opacity. And then this is on top right now. We can create a gradient. And with the gradient, if you're not familiar with it, you go into the gradient tool and we can change each color. So if we click on the circle above the gradient, we can change the color that it, that it fades to. And if we click on this um, node in the center, we can change the color that it fades from. So change the colors how you'd like them, and then we'll lower it down to the lower level, and then we'll see the picture on top. So this shape can be adjusted however we want. We're going to add some text to the bottom of this, so we'll create a space at the bottom uh, to allow for that text. We can also use a line and distribute to make sure that this is centered um, with the shape, with our rectangle. So using the text tool, we can come in and type whatever text we want to down here. And we can change up at the top, we can change the font and the size and the type of the text that we're using. And we can change the color just like we would anything else. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail on the rest of this because a lot of this we've covered in other videos, but we'll grab a circle tool and we can use this to create a, sort of a shadow look. So we set it to black. We go into fill and stroke and also add a gradient to this circle. And then you can change the size so it's just sort of like a, an oval uh, down here. We'll put one under each foot. And so once we get it how we want, we can just go to right click and duplicate and move these around to each foot and we can lower it or raise it to have it uh, appear behind uh, the foot so it's not like overlapping and looking strange. Uh, we can also create sort of a, a cool shadow effect with a text by duplicating the text. So we right click and go to duplicate and then we'll set the duplicate text to black and then we can just adjust the blur and opacity of this text and it's on top right now but we can lower it down to at an angle and then lower it down to a lower level and it creates a nice, makes that white text stand out a lot more. So things can be adjusted here. Uh, we're going to quickly just create a nice little border to kind of bring this out more. So we'll duplicate the rectangle and then change it. There's different ways you could do this. You could also just draw a, a separate new shape. But since we already have a shape here, we'll just duplicate a couple of these rectangles. And then we'll just go to Path Difference to create just uh, this a path of this. We can set a gradient to it, just a linear gradient, uh, to kind of give it more of a, make it stand out more. So hopefully you found this informative. Go ahead and leave your questions and comments below, and look forward to catching you in the next video.